Jacob, uh, Shark Boy, Taylor Lautner may have turned gay after the this movie premiere. Hello, YouTubers. This is thirty. Well, I confused myself. This is a marathon vlogger letting you know. If you haven't read the title up there, you know, way up there, then you kind of you would be an idiot. And this is my review of Twilight. Yeah, yeah, I know. Get on with it. It's a little late for my review, but I haven't had a video camera, and it's kind of—I know it's really late for me for review of Twilight. But you know, I've asked myself, what is the reason people like the movie? Now, first of all, I do think you know the character who plays Edward is actually attracting a lot of chicks to him. For one, no matter how many times he pushes a chick away, there's always more girls wanting to go to go after him. Now, okay, Bella has a very big house, you know, to live in, and her dad Charles is chief of police, and she's still a bitch because she ha she can't get a tan, she, and I mean, and she has a flat chest. So, what would be the, I mean, what would be the problem in this movie? All the characters are freaking wimps, and I'm gonna bring this up in this review a lot more later. Right. She even goes to a rich school. I mean, a very good-looking school. I mean, at lunchtime. I mean, at lunchtime, Anne walks back at Edward, which two minutes later he admits. You know, I mean, Edward, in the movie, Edward stares at, at Bella. I mean, through the whole class period, and you know, she should start thinking something's up in this movie, but she doesn't. She doesn't realize how bad the movie. I mean, what's going to happen? So, you know, he actually, I mean, while he's staring at Bella, he realizes he's gay, which explains why he's always pushing Bella away. Anyway, he's so angry because he realized he, ha I mean, he enjoys assless chaps and should have thought of it, you know, I mean, should have thought of it so I mean, earlier. I mean, he should have thought of that before. I mean, that's what he's thinking to himself. I can read that in his eyes. Hey, he's not the only one who's a vampire. Though, I'm cooler than him. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I mean, I'd like to see one straight guy. I mean, one straight guy try to imagine that nightmare without puking. And if you do, somebody give you five dollars or something. Ew, I'm still gagging. Anyway, the next day, Edward doesn't show up to school. Probably drinking, drinking a million mojitos wasn't such a good idea. So, yeah. but I mean, what? To him, it was a good idea at the time. So, <clears throat> and you know, when I see Edward, I see. I mean, I always, and he's always sneaking around. Now, I mean, I mean. He, it's not like every guy who cares so much about their hair means that they're always sneaking around. How's my hair? Okay, good. Anyway, first of all, if you saw the movie, you I mean you'd see I mean you know Shark Boy and oh I'm sorry Jacob. It says why I mean, I mean it says why his friends said the Collins don't visit I mean the Collins don't come here. <sighs> Explain it. You know, it's from the I mean it's an and I'm gonna quote it here too. It's from an old scary mo I mean it's from an old scary story. You know they're talking about the book, people. Jeez. Here I can explain why Edward likes Bella. He can't read her mind. Yeah, vampires who can read minds, just not Bella's. Now you can hear a lot of crazy talk when she's speaking. <clears throat> so I think I know why Bella. And I mean, I think I know. I mean, I. Sorry. I think I know. Why Bella has no? I mean, I think I know if you know Edward's like me, but you know, Bella probably doesn't have a brain, and she really doesn't have a brain. Look at how you know out of it she is. 
Now, <clears throat> yeah. also, you know something? In the middle of the movie, you know what? I'm gonna stick to my sentence. Also, with the oceans being, I mean, with the with the oceans of teenage hormones, ex except, I mean, expect vampire babies to be ripping out of Bella's invisible vagina. You know, and there are so many ways I can explain, and that sentence can be explained. Okay, I only have the problem with the characters, and this, and the story, really. But I love the scenery, and I, I love the music being played, and all that. And just, I'm, I mean, look at Bella. Even, even her dad wants to get some. I mean. <clears throat> Even her dad wants to get some. I mean, have Valley get some dicks, right? I mean, I mean, really. I just, I, I get sick. Of it. I get sick of this movie after a while. I mean, you know, Edward and Bella were actually about to make out in the movie, and where, where was I in this? I don't know. And even when Bella and Edward are about to do it, they I mean, and they would have also let the movie musicians play some jazz music. I mean, really, that would have been a little better. But then Edward says stop. Then explains to Bella he's afraid he'll cry and he doesn't have and and he doesn't want to embarrass himself. That I would understand. I mean. Being, I mean, I mean, him being a jar of sprinkle, I mean, a jar of sprinklies, that that I don't understand. But but some story, you know what? But some story discretion is required. For I mean, but some story discretion is required when men, I mean, when guys want to watch this in order to enjoy it. Do we? Yeah. <clears throat> this this movie has potentials. If I mean, if the vampires weren't such pushbacks, okay, there were. I mean, there were actually, you know, you know, and actually had. I mean, okay, I. I mean, this whole review is me insulting the characters, you know, but the characters. I mean, but the characters are my only problem. They're so bland, but I mean, but this is the only movie where you see vampires and werewolves, I mean, wh where they would fight. I, I mean, you know, what? I mean, I love the scenery, I hated the characters. I, I mean, I liked the music, but I hated brainless bitch Bella and clueless emo Edward. So yeah, you know, what, you know, I'm gonna explain. I wrote this down. I mean, I wrote this entire page down. I mean, with what I'm gonna say on here. I wanted to think of what I had to say so this whole review would be quick. But this also I wrote down. You know what? Fuck it. I am having a survey. Who's more bitch, Shark Boy? I mean, who's more bitch, Shark Boy? I mean, Jacob, or Gay Dracula? I mean, Edward. Also, second survey, will Bella ever grow a brain so she can enjoy her nice house and the fancy and the fancy school she goes to? She's too, she's too, yeah, she's too fuck ups away from being committed. People, I mean, oh fuck me, there's a third movie out now, so this movie, he was about to be committed. Second movie, New Moon, she's. A, one more step from being committed. Third movie. That's when she went completely insane. That's what everyone's telling me. I have not seen any of the movies. I, like I said before, I love the scenery. I love the, you know, I I like the music. I just hated the characters, and I didn't like that story that much. Now, with the pretty good graphics, they fulfilled, but neither the book or the movie did justice to each other. So, yeah. <clears throat>